Pep Guardiola, says Manchester United, will have to name an Old Trafford stand in Omar Barada's honour should he bring instant success to the club. United poached their rival's chief football operations officer last weekend, but Guardiola believes it will take much more before his neighbours become a force again. The Manchester City manager put Barada's departure in perspective by outlining they have lost an executive rather than one of the players who delivered the treble last season and six Premier Leagues in the 11 years since Sir Alex Ferguson last won a title for United. Baroda has taken the role of CEO at United following Sir Jim Ratcliffe's investment in the club through Ineos, which is expected to bring changes at United after a decade of underachievement. Yeah, but Kevin De Bruyne is still in Man City, said Guardiola. De Bruyne will play here. Erling Holland will play here so in the end, it's not that simple like that. Otherwise, with the power of United, they would have done it before. Maybe United thinks with this person everything is going to change, congratulations. I don't know if this is going to happen. He is a lovely person, incredible character. Incredible professional. Yesterday, I saw him, we hug and I wish him all the best, deeply I wish him the best because he's a fantastic person. But I don't know if doing this, clicks his fingers, everything is going to be sorted and it works. If it does happen then, oh my god, they have to make a stand for Omar Baroda in the future because he'd deserve it. Baroda was at City when they went head to head with United for players before pulling out of deals for Harry Maguire and Alexis Sanchez when they felt a transfer was not representing value for money. They also considered Cristiano Ronaldo before his return to United in 2021. Obviously his knowledge goes to United, that's the reality, added Guardiola. When you buy a player from another club you buy the knowledge that this player has had in the past with other managers and teammates. That is normal. In this club, these situations happen. The club will move forward. Maybe we'll find a way to replace him and we'll continue, because the new guy is coming maybe from here. Ferron, Soriano, Managing Director, and Caldun, El Muborak, Chairman, will decide. We will be well prepared, we will adapt and adjust and move forward. We learned a lot from Omar, but he's learned a lot from the club and now he's gone to United. On whether City could now be targeted by United for players, Guardiola added, if a person is unhappy here and want to go to United and there's a deal for the right price, then why not? No problem. In the clubs this situation happens. If we want a player from them, United have to agree to sell, and he wants to come and they agree a transfer, why should we not do it? Guardiola was speaking ahead of his team's FA Cup fourth-round clash against Tottenham on Friday night when his team are looking to end a run of five losses on Spurs' home soil. He will be without Erling Holland until next week and revealed his striker suffered a broken foot, which ruled him out for almost two months after it was initially thought to be a stress issue. Holland trained with the squad in their mid-season camp in Abu Dhabi and has not been feeling pain in his foot for the last 10 days. It was a bone. In the end, we thought it was a bit less, but in the end it was a little bit of a fracture of the bone and the bone is not a muscular issue that you can do a little bit of work and come back. Said Guardiola. When you have this injury, it's a question of time, People say six to eight weeks, it is six to eight weeks. It is not about how much you work or whether you go to Edu Dhabi or not. The bone needs time to close, to make his procedure and now it's at the end, it will be eight weeks now, almost two months this or next weekend. In the process he feels good and now, he needs time to take the rhythm and start to give him minutes when he will be fit. 
City have also confirmed the signing of Claudio Echeverri, 18, from River Plate in a deal worth £12.5 million plus add-ons. The Argentina under-23 midfielder will stay at River Plate until next January.